for the first time in about a year and a half, Sonos is releasing a brand new speaker. What's going on tech squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor in chief of gearlife.com. And if you've been wondering where Sonos has been lately, they've just released a brand new speaker into their lineup and I'm gonna tell you about it right now. This is the brand new Sonos Playbase. And it's very reminiscent of the Sonos Play Bar that was released four years ago. In fact, as far as features go, they're pretty much the same product with just different form factors. The Sonos Playbase is another speaker meant to be paired up with your television. It's selling for 699 bucks and it starts shipping today. Now, according to Sonos, 70% of the TV sets out there are not mounted to a wall. Now, I think I could have told you that because most people that I see, most homes I go to, the TVs are on a stand. And four years ago, the Play Bar was really meant to be paired with a TV that was mounted to a wall. But again, since that only applies to about 30% of the TV sets out there, the Playbase is the model for the rest of us. In other words, the brand new Playbase isn't so much a successor to the Play Bar as it is an alternative to the Play Bar. The Playbase supports TV sets up to 75 pounds. So if your TV has a base at the center, you can just put it directly on top of the Playbase. Or if you're like me and you have a TV set that has legs on the side, you can easily slide the Playbase right underneath since it's only two and a quarter inches tall. A lot of engineering power went into the creation of the Playbase, which includes 43,000 individually drilled holes of various sizes that you see all around the unit and an internal S port that enables necessary airflow on the inside. And all that's definitely a cool feat, but at the end of the day for the end user, this is just a speaker that sits underneath your TV that provides much better sound than the speakers that your TV ships with. Well, it's that, but it's also a Sonos through and through, which means it can play any song, any podcast, etc., stored on your local network, as well as streaming music services all across the planet. On the back of the Playbase, you've got three ports, an optical audio port, ethernet, and power. And on the inside, you've got a total of 10 amplified speakers. That's six mid-range, three tweeters, and one woofer. If you want more bass, you can pair it up with a Sonos sub, or you can add a couple of Play 1, Play 3, or Play 5 speakers to create a wireless surround sound system. The Play Bass sounds really good out of the box, but you can make it sound even better by using the Sonos True Play feature found inside the Sonos app. I highly recommend it because it only takes two or three minutes and it tunes the sound of the Play Bass for your specific listening environment. Just like the Play Bar, the Play Bass can also send your TV's audio to any other Sonos speakers that you have throughout your home, which is great for big events and games. For example, for a recent Super Bowl, I had the audio from the game playing on pretty much every room in the house, including the bathroom, which meant you would never miss any of the commentary, any of the plays, or any of the commercials anywhere you went in my house. And it's features like these that make Sonos shine. But there are also some missing features, in my opinion, when it comes to the Playbase. For example, just like the Play Bar, the Playbase does not support DTS audio. And Sonos gives a weak argument, pretty much saying that most people don't use DTS in the first place, especially nowadays in the streaming media world where none of the streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, etc., support DTS sound. But I personally think if you're someone who's gonna spend $700 on a piece of audio equipment for your home entertainment center, you're probably someone who doesn't just use streaming services, you probably also use optical media, which does have DTS sound on it depending on the disc. So I personally think Sonos just doesn't wanna pay that DTS licensing fee. Second, the Playbase does not support audio return channel, which means you can't just use one remote to control every ARC enabled device in your home theater. Lastly, there's no voice control here. And of course, no other Sono speakers have voice control built in yet, but new Sonos CEO Patrick Spence specifically stated just a couple of months ago that all new Sonos products going forward are gonna have built-in far field microphones. And yet, here's a product release in the future from when that statement was made that doesn't have that feature built in. That said, Sonos is picking up Alexa support later this year, so you will be able to control them with your voice, but you will need an Alexa-enabled device like an Amazon Echo or Echo Dot 
in order to take advantage of those features. As I mentioned earlier, the Playbase went on sale today. It's available now for $699. It's available in black or white. It provides great sound for your TV, streams your music from over 80 services and your local network, and it can be the central part of your wireless surround sound system just by adding in a couple of Sonos Play One units and a Sonos Sub. So do I think the Sonos Playbase is worth it? Sonos is one of my favorite consumer electronics companies in the world. I love their products, they're fantastic, they're well built. I do think it's worth it if you have a TV set that doesn't have a dedicated speaker attached to it. The Playbase is gonna be one of the best sound bars you can buy and it provides all that Sonos magic that I think every home should have. It really does a great job at improving the experience of watching TV in your home. So those are my thoughts on the Sonos Playbase. I'm curious to hear what you guys think though. Would you pick up a Sonos Playbase for your home, have you used Sonos products before? Leave a comment down below. I'll meet you down there for further discussion. If you enjoyed this one, please do drop a like on this video. It helps more than you know. And don't forget, if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to click or tap on my face when it appears here at the bottom of the video in order to subscribe for free to find out when new videos appear here on my channel. And by the way, if you wanna be one of the first to know when a new video is released, tap on the bell icon and that'll send you a notification straight to your device whenever I release something new. Until next time, thanks so much for watching guys. I appreciate the support as always. I'm Andrew Edwards and I'll catch you in the next video.